Each year, farmers experience extreme weather and natural disasters. In 2022, the United States had over $1 billion in damages related to weather disasters. Preparing your farm for these events is important. Today, we'll be sharing some information with you on how to make sure your family, your farm, and your community are ready when the next natural disaster strikes. When we see the weather reports, most of us think about making sure our fences are strong enough to take a wind, the ditches are cleaned out enough to take a big rain, and the equipment is stored, but by the time it's on the weather report, it's too late to be truly prepared. Before any kind of weather happens, and it's still a pretty day, think about your community. Not just the town or the county you live in, but the people that make up your community. Talk to them about what your whole community will do when something happens and get together a list of local contacts, friends, neighbors, and other farmers to call when the need arises. Think about your farms and your family's needs and who you might need to reach for assistance. You might need a couple of different veterinarians, someone that you can give a key to the gates, or someone to check on the pastures and fences if the roads are flooded or blocked by downed trees near your home. Try to think through contacts that could help you respond to any type of event. Once you've gone over your own contacts, build a list of agricultural and civic organizations that are in your area with contacts for each of them and what they can do to help. Treat each type of natural disaster independently and make a list for each, like heavy rains, high winds, fires, ice storms, or hail. Think about when these things normally happen during the year such as rains in the spring, summer, and early fall, fire in the late summer and fall, wind in the spring and early summer, hurricanes in the late summer and fall, and ice storms in the middle to late winter. What are your family and farm likely to need at that time? Think about how during each of these times, your farm might need different kinds of help and who you would have available. If your place is set to calve in November, you may have some heavy bred cows to handle if a late season hurricane comes in or an early ice storm, but so will everyone else. So whose numbers do you have that can help? If you're raising strawberries, your summer needs look very different than your winter needs. So think about what your farm might need at different times of the year. And think about who you can trust to come and who might need you to come. We all need to just look out for each other. Since we all know it's a matter of time before the next event happens, you can say we are already in the preparation time. Get your list together. Get phone numbers and names written down in a place you can find if you can't charge your cell phone or if you're away from home. It doesn't do any good for contacts to be locked up in your phone if someone at home needs them. Get to know your neighbors. Find out what they might need if something happens and how they might be able to help. Do they have equipment or access to roads that you do or don't have? Go visit them when the skies are still blue and they don't need help. Make an action plan to know who can help and in what situation they can help. When the event is happening, listen to the weather experts and follow their directions. You have done what you can already. Now it's a matter of getting to the other side. When it's safe, reach out to your trusted contacts. Call your neighbors and make sure they're okay. Let them know your situation. Figure out who needs help and prioritize. Call your local agricultural organizations to leverage their resources to help move forward to recovery. After experiencing a natural disaster, it'll be tempting to rush to get back to normal. However, work to pace yourself. Spend time with family, friends, and neighbors, and take time away from farm work when needed. Contact the Extension Service and USDA for local contacts that have experienced other severe weather events to talk about your experiences, recovery efforts, and share concerns. As you prepare for extreme weather events, make sure that you think about what you and your community have and what it might need. Create a list of contacts to reach out to if needed and how to rely on those contacts when under the extreme stress that arises when experiencing a weather-related disaster. We are all in this together, before, during, and after.